I found this moth on the wall of my house on 25 May 2016 near Albany, New York, USA. I caught it in a Ziploc bag and let it outside after filming it. A biologist on Freelancer.com thinks that this is a meal moth, Pyralis farinalis. I'm not sure if that identification is correct, but I'll talk about Pyralis farinalis in the rest of this video. According to Wikipedia, quote, it is the type species of the genus Pyralis, and by extension of its entire tribe, Pyralini, subfamily, Pyralini, and family. Its synanthropic habits were noted even by 18th and 19th century naturalists, who described it using terms like domesticalis, of home and hearth, fraterna, as close as a brother, or the currently valid farinalis of the flower, where flower here means baking flour rather than the kinds of flowers you see outside. In Great Britain and some other locations, particularly outside its natural range, it is mostly restricted to anthropogenic habitats of stored grain, e.g. barns and warehouses. Other foods recorded as larval food are hay and straw, dried fruits, cork, and even candy." End quote. The meal moth is different from the Indian meal moth, Plotia interpunctella. However, this source discusses both types of moths and notes that they both eat roughly the same things, namely, quote, cracked or damaged grain, seeds, nuts, flour, meal, bran, cereal, pasta, spices, dried fruits, powdered milk, milk chocolate, pollen in beehives, and various other dried materials, primarily of vegetable origin." End quote. That source adds, quote, "...meal moths generally attack products with abnormally high moisture contents. They are commonly found in foods kept in damp storage areas, such as basements or root cellars. They will feed on whole, unbroken grain if the moisture content gets high enough. Their presence is often an indication that the stored material has gone out of condition, and is in danger of molding." End quote. As far as prevention, that source explains, quote, "...uninfested food items should be stored at the proper moisture levels in glass, metal, or thick plastic containers with tight-fitting lids. Proper storage of food items in such containers seems to prevent nearly all problems with stored product pests, including flower moths. Paper, cardboard, foil, or cloth containers will not prevent infestation. To avoid attracting insects, wipe out the cupboards and storage areas and vacuum the cracks and crevices to remove food particles." End quote. I strongly recommend against using heat to kill these moths or their larvae, because insects generally react very aversively against heat. I don't know why this particular moth was in my house, but it might have been eating food in a compost bin that my housemate unfortunately keeps in the basement. I oppose composting food because doing so brings into existence large numbers of bugs to eat the food, and those bugs will generally die painfully not long after being born. <laughs>